So hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking at using a uh, vector. Now this is my algorithms um, project, but uh, we're only going to be looking at vector and write what I usually use. So in the vector one, we store all the players in a vector and then loop through them. And uh, in my normal one, we just do what I do in each one of my videos, which is loop through each uh, entity. Um, so I have CS2 open here. I'm in an inkbox lobby. So let's go and take a look at uh, the performance. So you can see here that I uh, started the test. Um, what we're doing is starting the vector algorithm, starting our timer. And uh, here's what we're going to be doing. We loop through each player and then we stop the timer. So just looping normally to um, populate the vector uh it took 0 0.014 milliseconds um and now we're going to be testing looping through our actual vector so we save each entity that we find in our vector and then we loop through that instead which is 0 0.0015 so uh we're also going to be taking a look at what i usually use which is my normal and here i just print the hp of each entity we find and it takes 0 0.013 so this is actually slower since we're populating the vector but after we've populated it it's uh, very very fast so i made a project here vector tutorial head over here hit release then we want to go into our project properties change our c language standard to 20 go to advanced change from unicode to multibytes and that's it so we want to make a um source folder oh sorry you actually have to hit this button first so add source then we want to add a uh, mem and then we'll add a main.cpp now you'll probably recognize this setup from a lot of my other videos because it's the most basic um, setup you can use it's just a um, memory file and then you have your main file so i'm going to start off including memify so mem and then memify uh, and then we're also going to need offsets uh, I'll show you which one you need right now. Now that I have my offsets, uh, I'm going to be using entity list, pawn, and health. Uh, this is just so we can access our entities, and then we can get the HP just to test. But before we begin, we're also going to need a class. Uh, you can call it whatever you want, but I'm calling it C entity. Uh, in here, we're going to store some values such as uh, health, uh, team, etc. Anything you want to store, like uh, usually the entity too, you need to store in here. Now that we have all this, we can actually head into our int main. Uh, first, we want to open a handle to the game. And once we've done that, we want to retrieve our clients. And now that we have our client, we also need to create our vector. So make sure you include vector at, at the uh, top of your file here. I'm also going to be including uh, windows.h. And even though my memify file has windows.h, I'm going to still include it just for the uh, simplicity. So let's create our vector. And the uh, type is going to be our C entity class. And we'll just call it uh, playlist. We're also going to make an object from our uh, C entity class. Call it entity. Now, next up, we're going to be using a kind of a ghetto uh, solution. Uh, there's probably a better solution to this, but um, this is what I usually use because it works. And there's no point in making it into a uh, harder problem to solve. So we're going to need an int. Call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it a loop. And we're going to set it at, I don't know, 10. You can change this number depending on um, how many times you're looping before updating your players. Finally, we can head into our while true loop. Here we're going to sleep our thread for one millisecond. Um, if you don't do this, then for a simple sheet, I guess it's fine, but your CPU is not going to like it. So each loop, we're going to be increasing this number. So here comes the main logic of the sheet, and this is why we're using a vector. So I'm going to show you how this works. So here we're checking if loop is more than... And here you can choose whatever number you want. This is how often you're going to be updating. So each, let's say, 10 loops, you're going to be updating your entities. And um, maybe filtering them out to check if they're on the same team, if they're alive, etc. Now we're going to add our checks like if not mem dot in foreground. Since I'm not making an ESP, I'm not going to actually use this. So I'm just going to comment it out. But you can do this if you want. Uh, sorry, my mistake. You should actually be putting it... Um, right here uh we're gonna get our entity list now so auto entity list is equal to mem.read is gonna be a new in pointer and it's gonna be our client plus offset entity list oh right shit sorry my fault uh we actually need to define our client here and then while client is equal to zero. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm a bit rusty. I haven't made a video in a while. Anyways, now that we're um, filtering our players again, we should be uh, clearing our playlist. So let's do that. So this just empties our, our vector. I've noticed that CPU usage gets super high if you don't do this. I'm not quite sure why, but uh, now let's loop through our entities now that we're um, ready to. So we're going to be making a for loop. I through I is equal to one. 
since I was here with the world entity, I threw 64 and plus plus. So I'm just going to go really quick at this because I've done it in all my videos. You can basically just go take a look at my other videos if you want to know what we're doing here. But uh, this is a super basic entity loop. Right, so here we um, just loop through uh, each entity and get the uh, PCS player pawn. Um, so here we want to get our health now. Right, so now that we have our health, we're going to check if the player is alive. Okay, great. So now that our uh, player is alive that we're looking at... Um, you'd want to check if they're on the same team, but I don't actually have the team offset right now included. And I'm a bit too lazy to get it right now. We'd also need to get our local player. So I'm just gonna act like this is enough. Right, so now that we're checking that our player is valid, um, we're gonna apply all the uh, values such as the PCS player bomb and health to our C entity class. So let's, uh, since we made an object here, we can just go entity dot... Oh, I didn't make it public. Right, yeah, sorry guys. So you want to make this public too, of course. So entity dot entity is equal to PCS player form. You should be calling it PCS player form, but that's fine for now. Entity dot health is equal to our health, of course. And next we want to do player list dot push back our entity so that we can access our uh, entity class when we're uh, doing our vector loop. So we want to make some space here and set our loop back to zero. So this means it'll have to loop 10 more times until we filter our players again. So make sure you're out of this if statement, I've made that mistake before. And now we're going to make our vector loop. So it's also going to be a for loop of course, since we're looping through each entity in our playlist. So here we go, for const auto, and we're referencing our players here, player list. Now here you'd want to update uh, the things you need updated constantly. Um, an example of this would be your uh, feed position as an example. And uh, here's where you would update maybe your ESP, your aimbot, etc. But what I'm just going to do is uh, I'm just going to print out the um, HP of each player. So we're going to do health players dot health and then entity players dot entity and then we end our line. So um, our build failed and that's because um, our client is just in uninitialized here. So let's just add this and it should be initialized. So here you can see. Uh, I should probably sleep a lot more. Alright, so I've updated the uh, loop here to sleep 100 milliseconds, but as you can see it builds successfully. So here we're getting the HP of each entity here. Um, I'm going to shoot some entities and see if the uh, HP updates. Yeah, 46, 20, 19. As you saw in the uh, algorithm test, this is actually way, way, way faster than um, what we were doing before. And this is because we're only filtering through each player every 10 loops instead of each loop like you're doing when you're just looping through... Um, all the entities. I'm sorry for the short video, but I just wanted to share this with you guys because um, performance is often an issue with a lot of people. Um, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you have a wonderful day, and goodbye.